last weekend, I did an amazing job of bluntening, is that even a word? Bluntening my dad's chainsaw. And in this week's free minutes for your fitness business, I'm focusing on the mindset of pricing. So I took the chainsaw to the, the local supplier and I asked the guy, can you sharpen this blade for me? He said, yeah, I sure can, just not right now. When? Not sure. Footnote, this is not about service. But I think you get the idea already. Oh, why can't you do it now? Well, my sharpener's bugging, not sure when it's gonna be fixed. Oh, well, are there any other options? Well, you could go to another store. Well, okay, thanks. And then pause the fraction. Wait, I could replace the blade for you, he says. Well, how much is that? Oh, I'm sorry, it'd be, it'd be kind of around 30 bucks. So how much is sharpening the blade then? Around 20 bucks? Give me a new blade. How long do you need me to leave the chainsaw to get the new blade fitted? I don't know, just how about you walk to your car and back and it'll be fitted. Oh my God, can you believe that experience that I had? What would you do if conversations like this were happening with you and without your knowledge in your fitness business? What would you do? Here are three tips that I've got for you today. First one, don't ever apologize for your price. Don't ever apologize for your price. If you hire towels for $5, they're $5. If personal training is 50 bucks, it's 50 bucks. The price is the price, so believe in it and don't apologize for it. Don't ever put your definition of value or expensive on the customer. We're all different and we all have different values and different definitions of expensive, cheap, good value. Expensive for a millionaire is incredibly, incredibly different to expensive for a homeless person. Okay, and when your customer is in pain, recognize that pain and make the sale. For me, returning the chainsaw blunt to my dad, I would have paid anything to ensure that that did not happen. $30 for me was a bargain. Now I've heard the tone in personal trainers' voices, I've heard the tone in salespeople's voices when they mention the weekly fees or the cost of the sessions. Both of these indicate to me that there is an internal value proposition challenge. You and your team have to realize what you deliver is awesome value, perhaps even too cheap. Hey, you've been watching JT from Active Management with three minutes of fitness business tips.